Today, we're going to see about coupling and repulsion theory in chromosomal basis of inheritance in botany chapter 3. So first you must know coupling or cis configuration. Coupling means what? Two in number. So the dominant or recessive allele present on the homologous means same chromosome. They pass the characters, they pass the alleles to the same gamete. That is called coupling or cis configuration. Here in a chromosome you have dominant alleles on one chromosome and recessive alleles on another chromosome. You can see the this, this one capital A, capital B, small a, small b. When they pass the character as it is they will passing and they are exposing the character. So they are in couple, they are in one pair. So if they seen on the same chromosome, the same in the same gamete they will be present. So that is called coupling or cis configuration. And there is a chart that is a, here I had given a uh, cross between the dominant parent and the recessive parent to prove the coupling that is the genes are present on the same chromosome will inherited to the same gamete that is called coupling. So in, in Lethyrus odoratus only we had done this experiment for coupling as well as the repulsion. You can take the characters as purple flower long pollen capital P capital P capital L capital L is crossed with red flower round pollen small p small p small l small l from this the gametes have segre segregated as that is the gametes are formed as capital P capital L small p small l okay and in F1 you get heterozygous condition that is that is capital P small p capital L small l that is purple flower with long pollen in heterozygous condition occurs. Now the F1 that is purple flower long pollen in heterozygous condition that is capital P small p capital L small l is crossed with F1 that is the F1 is crossed with test that is crossed with recessive parent. If the F1 is crossed with the recessive parent then that cross is called test cross. Here the recessive parent is round flower red pollen that is so it is crossed with F1. So the red Red flower round pollen is crossed with the F1 hybrid purple flower long pollen. And the gametes are formed from the F1 hybrid is capital P capital L capital P small L small P capital L small P small L. And same way from the recessive parent you get capital P sorry from the recessive parent means all are in small letters. So you have to give as small p small l and the f2 what are the offspring appear capital p small p capital l small l purple long small that is capital p small p small l small l purple round small p small p capital l small l red long small p small p small l small l Red round. So these are the offsprings appeared in the F1 generation. And the progeny purple long is the parental frequency. And red round is also parental frequency. In the middle only you have that is purple, purple round and red long. These are the middle two one is recombinant frequency and what is the frequency appeared as 44 is to 6 is to 6 is to 44 so here you get the higher number of 44 in parental forms so parental uh, purple long plus red round is equal to 44 plus 44 gives 88 percentage of higher frequency of parental forms and that is Purple round is to 
red log that is 6 plus 6 is equal to 12 percentage of recombinant frequency it has lesser frequency so by this we are getting the ratio as 7 is 2 1 is 2 1 is 2 7 that you can that is this frequency 44 is to 6 is to 6 is to 44 can be divided by 6 if you divided it by 6 you will get the ratio as 7 is to 1 is to 1 is to 7 and the expected ratio to be appeared in this cross is because it is a test cross. So as per the test cross you have to get 1 is to 1 is to 1 is to 1 ratio. But instead of 1 is to 1 is to 1 ratio we get 7 is to 1 is to 1 is to ratio. So what it concludes means the genes appeared that is dominant or recessive appeared they are in two that is they are present in close close linked so they appeared as uh, they appeared in the future generation that is they pass the characters as it is so that's why we are getting higher frequency of parental forms and lower frequency of recombinant forms in coupling so this is a simple flow chart without the chromosome diagrams you can use this diagram and you can put it in your exam also so what happened instead of a purple flower we're going to use blue flower long pollen is crossed with red flower round pollen so capital b capital b capital l capital l and small b small b small l small l is going to cross so the gametes are formed as capital b capital l small b small l and in f1 generation you get an heterozygous condition of blue long that is capital b small b capital l small l and this f1 hybrid is going to cross with the recessive parent red round okay okay so what the gametes will appear in the f1 hybrid capital b capital l capital b small l small b capital l small b small l from the recessive parent you will get small b small l so you get from the this cross in the F2 generation you get the offsprings as blue long capital B small b capital L small l blue round capital B small b small l small l red long small b small b capital L small l red round small b small b small l small l so you have to get the ratio that is the frequency that is the frequency as 44 is to 6 is to 6 is to 44. So here based on this you divide it you will get it as the ratio as 7 is to 1 is to 1 is to 7 ratio. But the expected ratio of, as per the Mendelian test cross 1 is to 1 is to 1 is to 1 has to appear. So what means here this one is parental form. You can write it as P of this one and this one as P of parental form. In the middle, you can write it as RF, that is RF is recombinant form. Okay, so when you add on the frequency of the parental forms, 44 plus 44, blue long is to red long, you are add on, you will get 88 percentage. And same way, you add on the recombinant forms as blue round and red long, you get 6 plus 6 is equal to 12 percentage. So the genes are present closely linked they, they show the couple they are present in a two they give the same as it is in the f1 or f2 generation that is in f2 generation they are getting the frequency like this okay wow. so that means the coupling they are present coupling means they are present in two the genes dominant or recessive if they are present in present they are linked together then the uh, appearance will be more that is there are recombination frequency the parental form frequency will be more in number and next we move on to repulsion or trans configuration so repulsion means what repelling they are separating so the dominant or recessive are present on different chromosomes okay they inherit a path in different gametes though they pass on the, that is dominant or recessive present on different chromosome they inherit they pass on the characters in different gametes so you can see the capital a small b on one chromosome and small a capital b on another chromosome so here the dominant and it, it is in heterologous chromosome so this type that is 
presence of uh, these two that is capital A and small b and it is called heterologous chromosomes. Heterologous chromosomes. So same uh, genes are not present. Different genes are present on the different. So the capital A and small b are the small b on one chromosome and capital A sorry capital B small b on another chromosome. So they are repelled that is the dominant genes two genes capital A and capital B are separated. Same way the recessive gene A and small b and small b is separated. So here all here what we we going to prove the repulsion using the red that is purple flower with round pollen is crossed with red flower long pollen. So that means what will be the that is genes capital P capital P small l and small p capital L that means capital P capital P small l small l small p small p capital L capital L so the gametes are capital P small l small p capital L in F1 you get the offspring as in F1 generation you get it as capital P small p capital L small l and this F1 hybrid is crossed that is test crossed with the recessive parent. So you will get the gametes as capital P capital L capital P small l small p capital L small p small l from the F1 hybrid and from the recessive parent you will get the offsprings as small b capital L and after the crossing you do it in the checkerboard you will get purple long capital P small p capital L small l capital capital p small p small l small l small p small p capital l small l small p small p small l small l these are the gametes appeared in the sorry these are the offspring appeared in the f2 generation so here you can see the purple long is the recombinant that is rf and the round that is red round that is RF that is recombinant 1. In the middle you have the parental forms that is purple round and red long is the parental form. Same way here you are getting the higher frequency 44 is to 44 that is 6 is to 44 is to 44 is to 6 ratio. So when you divide it on you will get 1 is to 7 is to 7 is to 1 and the expected ratio is 1 is to 1 is to 1 is to 1 as per the Mendelian test cross. But here also when the genes are apart also we didn't get the Mendelian test cross ratio. Instead of that we get 1 is to 7 is to 7 is to 1. Okay next we will see it in a clear chart here they took red flower with round pollen that is sorry blue flower with round pollen is crossed with red flower long pollen that is capital B capital B small l small l is crossed with small b small b capital L capital L and from that you are getting an heterozygous that is heterozygous condition of F1 hybrid blue flower long pollen capital B small b capital L small l so the F1 hybrid is test crossed with the recessive parent that is red flower round pollen so on the gametes appeared here as capital B capital L capital B small l small b capital L small b small l and same way you get the row that is recessive parent you get the gamete as small b small l so blue flower long pollen is that is in F2 generation you are getting blue flower long pollen is to blue flower round pollen is to red flower long pollen is to red flower round pollen that is 6 is to 44 is to 44 is to 6 that is this this one is RF that is recombinant form the 6 is that is blue long and same ways red round is 
are of recombinant form and it is 6. In the middle you have 44 is to 44 it is parental forms. So if the genes are apart also what is the frequency you are getting the parental from frequency only you are getting more and the recombinant you are, you are getting lesser that, that the ratio is 1 is to 7 is to 7 is to 1 and the expected ratio is 1 is to 1 is to 1 is to 1 we didn't get as per the Mendelian uh, Mendelian test to cross we didn't get it so we get instead of that 1 is to 7 is to 7 is to 1 ratio so when the genes are apart also they are present on different chromosome also we are getting the that is we are getting the parental forms are more compared to the recombinant forms so you may get a one mark from this uh, the ratio they can ask coupling ratio or repulsion ratio in one mark okay and i had given some of the questions which may ask in your board exams define coupling or cis configuration Defined repulsion or trans configuration that I had given in the first two. That is first slide you have the coupling, uh, that is coupling uh, uh, definition. That is the genes are present on the same chromosome and they will inherit it to the same gamete. That is called coupling. And same way repulsion the genes are, that is uh, their dominant or recessive alleles are present on the different chromosome and they inherit it to different gametes. That is known as repulsion. And the mechanism of coupling you can give the uh, checkerboard chart. That is using purple flower long pollen or blue flower uh, long pollen for a coupling. And same way for repulsion also any one of the chart which is easy to you that can you had uh, put it in your paper. Okay. So if you have the repulsion and coupling any one of the question may, they may ask in your board exam. So thank you for watching the video. If you have any doubts post your doubts in, in the comment box. If you like the video, please make a thumbs up, share and subscribe to Science Easy Tech.